Me when a woman I'm dating asks if I'd like to have kids one day. I'm not going to tell you whether I had a visectomy or not, but I will tell you I've been smashed in the in the nards with a with a wiffle ball bat a few times. Me to my mother and father-in-law at 7 a.m. on the last day of them staying with us for Christmas. Do not leave right now. I will call the police and have you escorted out of the building. Leave the building now. You are trespassing. You need to leave. And this was me to my ex-wife when she came home from her day at work and asked if I'd managed to leave the sofa and empty the dishwasher, as she asked. Sadly, I have not been able to do so. I tried three times. Hello folks and welcome back to the show. So today we're going to talk about three or four fragrances that I think are a better bet than the much talked about and very popular fragrances of the moment. Uh, Some of these so-called elixirs and stuff. So we've got Sauvage Elixir is now many people say, oh that's the best version of Sauvage. And it's not a terrible fragrance, but you know, Dior Sauvage and all its flankers, a bit dull for some of us. And also we've got this other one that I've been talking about and previewing. I haven't smelled it yet to be honest with you. Absolute Aventus. And that's actually being um, compared to Sauvage as well, which is kind of weird because it's a niche brand and you'd think they'd they try to do above the level of a Sauvage type fragrance but many people are saying Absolute Aventus has comparisons to Sauvage Parfum, Sauvage, to Sauvage Elixir and all this kind of stuff. Let me know if you've tried Absolute Aventus yet. I'll try and get a sample. I'm not, you know, I'm not wowed by what I've heard about it so far but if you want an alternative and maybe an alternative even to things like Creed Aventus, we're going to look at three or four very versatile, um, fresh, masculine fragrances that at least will not be commonplace. So if you were well actually one of them will because it's a clone of Creed Aventus but if you wear Creed Aventus or if you wear probably Absolute Aventus or Dior Sauvage Elixir they're all of a kind that we've smelled a lot around uh, everywhere because this is a very popular couple of different styles here let's do something a little bit different but that are good fresh masculine fragrances hopefully not all mega dated but it is me so some of them might be okay let's get on with it um guys before we do that if you want to buy fragrance samples in the usa canada or puerto rico go to myfragrancesamples.com my recommended place an amazing range of designer and niche scents for you guys in north america link in the description okay let's get stuck into this so here's one that i, I really uh, love discovered it last year and it's a real great fresh citrus fragrance so this is mark Antoine. Antoine Barrois, 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 B-A-R-R-O-I-S, 2019 release of the fragrance here, Ganymede, don't know what Ganymede means, the uh, perfumer, Quentin Bish, and it's fantastic, thanks to Mr. Clean, uh, a sometime guest on my live streams, and he recommended this one, and I gotta be totally honest with you, he was dead right, it's a really classic, uh, not classic, cracking fragrance, and uh, your notes are mineral notes, saffron, suede, akigala wood, whatever the fuck that is, violet leaf, Italian mandarin, my favourite kind of mandarin, Venezuelan mandarin, no thank you, Italian mandarin, now you're talking immortel, and chi- chi- believe it or not, Chinese osmanthus. Japanese osmanthus, not for me. Chinese every time, I say. Now, the price is not that cheap. 30 mil, though, you can pick up for 90 pounds in the UK. So it's a small bottle, but it's at least under 100 pounds. And you're looking at 100 mil as your other option there. For 170 pounds, I've got the smaller size. Really, really interesting, fresh, somewhat sort of semi-aquatic, maybe from the mineral notes. And uh, long-lasting, great power and potency. Some people complaining in reviews, but I don't know, that the new Aventus Absolute that doesn't look like this, it looks like this, is uh, lacking in performance and blah, blah, blah. I'm not overly fussed on performance. It's not my focal point because if I think I think something smells nice, I'll just you know take the bottle with me with a little one like that and spray it throughout the night, my night of passion, uh, or whatever I'm doing. But anyway, the performance happens to be very good. So it is fresh. It is complex. It has a little bit of an exoticism about it, which you tend to get with things like uh, Immortel, maybe Akigala would if I knew what that was. And it has this real charming aura about it. It is fresh. It is citrusy, uh, citrusy, woody, aromatic, manly, not a dated old old school one that I'm so known for, for liking, but I think you'll get really good results uh, in life. Not, not the fragrances actually, you know, should give you any kind of specific result. You, you'll just like it, probably. Go and try this one out. I think it's good. And yeah, a, a good alternative to, you know, spending probably even more money that you would have to pay for Absolute Aventus, which I won't be rushing to buy. Next up then, now, if you want a Creed fragrance, and I do like the brand of Creed, so, you know, no shots fired by me against Creed. I think their fragrances overall are really good, and they're my style. I like freshies. I've just got to reiterate my massive love for their 1999, the two release, Erolfa from Creed, okay? Lime, bergamot, melon, green notes, lemon, violet, caraway, herbal notes, pine tree, ginger, jasmine, pepper, cyclamen, 
nutmeg flower, whatever that is, ambergris, musks, sandalwood, oak moss, and cedar. So this is a fantastic citrus aromatic. It is a little bit more zesty and ultra fresh than things like um, uh, uh, Ventus, but it, it really can be an all year round. People would stereotype it as a spring or mainly summer fragrance, and it works great then, but totally would work in the office or wherever you, if you work down a coal mine also. Why do we all think everyone works in office? Um, and, you know, working on an oil rig, fantastic. But for a date, I would have thought it would be an absolutely great choice. Very difficult not to like this. It's sort of complex in a it's sort of simple yet complex, if that's even possible. Uh, it is citrusy. It is fruity. It has this air of being splashed in the face with seawater by a dolphin as you sit in a boat eating uh, uh, some delicious fruits. And that's not a bad thing. I really enjoy this one. David Beckham apparently was fond of this one. And again, although coming from the 90s, doesn't really have a massively old school smell. Um, but maybe one of the things close to Creed's version of a classic eau de cologne, Norelli Portofino levels of freshness, but more interesting than that fragrance. So I think that'll be a great signature scent choice. Stand out from the crowd a bit more than if you buy Sauvage Elixir etc not that i you know the savage elixir is okay just doesn't float my boat next up if uh, you want to spend we're going to do a cheapie in a minute so if you think these are all expensive you're right so far but i will do an affordable one after this one this is the most expensive one of the lot 2011 release roger parfums scandal i've got the parfum pour homme there is a parfum cologne that's considerably more affordable because this 50 ml bottle retails at 395 pounds are you mad the other version the parfum cologne does smell pretty close just a little less rich so you can get that too lemon lavender bergamot petit grain tarragon basil mint jasmine lily of the valley something rose that may rose june rose no thank you may rose yes violet ro- uh, violet oak moss ambergris musk vetiver cloves patchouli cardamom cashmere wood nutmeg tonka bean the kitchen sink cedar sandalwood rhubarb and labdanum rhubarb but no custard maybe they'll put that in in they that would have been they missed a trick there okay really really nice classic citrus aromatic stroke fougere somewhat reminiscent perhaps to some people's mind of things like the classic original formula the vintage formula of Dior's Eau Sauvage but it's got a little bit it's it's got its own thing going on it is really classic it is citrusy a tiny bit old school but just just classy grown up balanced and co- very complex I mean that note listing I'm not going to sit here and say oh, after 20 minutes I smelled the violet because I, I don't know it just smells like a really nice posh classy man bit like bit like what I am uh scandal pour on Again, I would much rather step out in that, I, I, I imagine, I haven't smelled it yet, than Absolute Aventus. I mean, I haven't even smelled it and I'm making these statements. I could be uh, making a fool of myself here, not for the first time. Finally, actually, you know, if you just want to spend less money than Aventus or any of its flankers, but you want a similar vibe, uh, i got to be completely honest, it doesn't suck. People like Club de Nuit Intense Man by Armaf, about £30 in the UK. It's a cheap copy of Aventus. It doesn't really, in the air, it, it smells good. And in a way, it's kind of stronger, many people might think, than the modern v- uh, formula of Aventus. And who knows, maybe than the absolute Aventus. And it gets results. People like this. I've actually met people in the real world, believe it or not, said, oh, you, you do fragrances, do you? Do you know what my favourite is? I bought for my husband. That's how they talk, you see, the people. Oh, do you know what? Club de Nuit Intense Man. Go figure. And I slightly prefer this one, La Ventures Al Haramain, also amazing. I did buy these. They weren't sent to me for free. I do not get any kickback from uh, saying they're good options for you to buy. You want to buy it, you buy it. You, you don't want to buy it, don't buy it. They give me jack shit, jack shit, jack, 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 jack shit. I think La Venture from Al Haramain, uh, £27.95. I found a bottle on eBay, brand new bottle though. Another Aventus clone. It is refined. It is a combination, of course, bergamot, pineapple, the smoky undertone, and closer to the original to my nose than Club de Nuit Intense. Man, very close actually to my 2019 bottle. Good performance, amazing price. Just get that rather than spending, you know, 300 quid on Absolute Aventus. A top tip or what, guys? If you've never seen my channel before, or if if you have and have not yet subscribed please do subscribe it really helps me and also you won't miss my next video uh, and even if you didn't like this one subscribe anyway maybe the next video will be better it could hardly be any worse i will leave it there except to remind you that gravitas essentia by norton and wilson my brand is now back in stock in the usa and canada as well as the uk amazing citrus accented follow-up to our stunner gravitas pour i'm going get that link in the description nortonandwilson.com i'll leave it there remember folks 
even though life may sometimes stink, at least we can always smell good. Bye-bye.